even <clears throat> unknowingly, Christ saves us. We are on the fourth Lord's Sunday from resurrection. And we have the readings from Acts chapter 9, verses 32 to 42, and from the Gospel of St. John, the Evangelist, chapter 5, verse 1 to 15. The chief commemorated persons on this day are the paralyzed and unknown man at Bethsaida. The paralyzed man with a name known as Aeneas at the town of Lida. And the beloved resurrected from death, Tabitha, who was a lady, a believer, and known as Dorcas in the town of Joppa. One perspective of the Christian faith is the healing ministry. And our Lord Jesus Christ exercised this ministry in his evangelization of the people. And after his going away in body, his disciples continued this and especially Peter, Simon. And the healing is both in our souls and in our bodies. In our souls because of the many sins which are reflecting to our body and also become more and more sick the bodies. Jesus Christ the Lord healed the paralytic man unknown at Bethsaida, Paul, which was near the sheep gate of Jerusalem city. Among the many blind, lame, dumb, deaf, and paralyzed men and women, this man was on his bed for 38 years. The Lord knew the whole story, not only of his suffering, but also of his birth, even his parents, and all the details of his life. So he came purposely to Jerusalem this day in order to cure him from all of his sufferings. Wake up, get your mat, and walk. This command Jesus gave to this unknown man after a short discussion which they had, do you want to become well? And the man answered, yes, I want, but I don't have anybody to throw me in this pool when the water is staring up by the angel. And then our Lord, instead of asking him more questions, he just commanded. And the man took his mat and walked out of the porch at the pool. All the people were amazed and glorified God. But some Jewish people who were with their own system, they maintained to defend this system. They never thought about the glorified intervention of our Lord into our lives. In Jerusalem, being the center 
of all activities, Simon Peter went to lead. That is after the resurrection of the Lord. And I think now that before maybe the sending of the Holy Spirit, because they were, they were in Jerusalem a little bit waiting for this event. But Peter went to Lida. It was about 25 kilometers west. Because there, there was a group of believers, a small group. And Peter had known there a person known as Aeneas. And he went for him because he was sick also for a long time, eight years. So Peter, when he arrived there, he prayed and said to Aeneas, Jesus Christ makes you well now. And Aeneas became well and also himself prepared his own bed. This one, we have this act in Acts chapter 9, verse 34. Almost the same occurred also in Joppa. While Peter was in Lida, teaching these people here, the small group, this event of the death of Tabitha, Dorcas, happened in Joppa because Tabitha was very beloved to many people who are believers and non-believers. And they heard that Peter was somewhere not very far from them. They sent a message to him. He may not go back to Jerusalem before arriving where they are. And Peter went immediately where they were in Joppa. From Lida to Joppa, it was about 10 kilometers. And when he arrived there, they had prepared this body of Davisa. They have washed it. They had done whatever is possible before the burial and put her body in the upper room. So Peter went there, drove them out, all of them. He knelt down and prayed. And after prayer, he came very close to where Tabitha is asleep, but dead. And then he cried out, Tabitha, wake up. And really Tabitha heard the voice of Peter in the power of Jesus Christ and sat on where she was. And Peter gave the hand and recognized even Peter immediately. All of these events are giving us the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, this power during that time which was more much necessary to operate in that style in order that people may believe. Today, this ministry of healing, we have left it only to the doctors, specialists in medicine and whatever. Of course, also I can say, our faith is not so strong as the faith of these apostles. And they were able to operate by the power of the Lord then. We are called today to become more and more faithful in order our Lord Jesus Christ's power may be manifested in our presence.